What is going on everybody and welcome to part 17D of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part, we will just be adding a health variable to our ammo dispenser, which will allow it to be damaged and ultimately allow it to be destroyed. So we're going to be working in our share.lua and our init.lua file for the ammo dispenser entity. And we're going to be starting with the share.lua file for now. So what we want to add in here is just one more variable for this entity, and this will be int dot base health. And the reason I'm calling it base health and not health is because health does not work. So we call it base health to actually allow this thing to work. And we're just going to set this equal to 10. Next up in our init.lua, we are now done with our share.lua. We just had to add that one variable. You're going to do your init.lua file. And in our initialize function, we want to initialize this entity's health to whatever that base health variable is that was made here. So we do this. Let's go to the end of the file, or end of this initialize function. I want to do self, which again is pointing to whatever entity is currently being initialized. So self colon set health. And we want to set this to that base health in here. And we do this by calling self dot base health health and again if this does not work in and let's say this is health if you have something like self.health and that does not work go ahead and change both this name and the name in the share.lua file to something else because there are some things that will not work by doing this notation so we just call this base health in order to get that to actually work and set this health to in this case 10 so once that is done we need to make another function here which is the function Ent colon on take damage. So whenever this entity takes damage, we want to do something. And this will take in one argument, which is the, the damage information. Now let's end that. Now in order to actually have this take damage, what we want to do is do self colon set health. And we want to set this to their current health, which would be self colon health. That will return the entity's current health. And we want to subtract damage, which is just the damage information here. And we want to do colon get damage. And what this will do for us is it'll get the damage information and grab the damage from that information. So that'll be different for every single weapon. Next up, we want to be checking if the health is less than or equal to zero. And if it is less than or equal to zero, we want to remove that. And later on the line, we can do something fancy such as creating an explosion. But anyways, we want to check if self colon health, again, that will give us the current health of it. And in this case, once this function gets called once, the health will be set to 10, at least in this function. And it'll take that damage and it'll be something less than 10 here. But we want to check if this is less than or equal to 0. Then end... Then we just want to remove it. So we do self colon remove. And that'll remove the entity from the game. So again, a quick review here. What we did was we created a base health variable in here that was set to 10. And this will just be the base health amount for every entity that is going to be initialized. And now in our init.lua, when the entity is initialized, we set the entity's health to whatever that base health variable is in our share.lua. In this case, 10. Then after that, we, we created a function that gets called every time an entity takes damage, and it takes some damage information as an argument. And whenever the entity takes damage, so when it gets shot with something, it ex gets hit with an explosion, it will set the entity's health to whatever its current health is, and then subtract the damage that is received from this damage information, which is what damage colon get damage will do. It'll return that damage. Then... If the entity's health is now less than or equal to zero, then we want to remove it so it disappears. And now if we go into game here, we can go ahead and check this. Q, go into entities, ammo dispenser, and shoot it, one, two, and it's gone. So we can go ahead and change this to something else. We can make this 20, and this will take a few more hits to destroy. There you go. So that is how you set the health for an entity and actually allow it to be removed after taking a set amount of damage. But anyways, that will conclude this part of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. So thank you all so much for watching, 
and I hope to see you next time.